Hell's Angels. Howard Hughes. That's oh, that's actually quite appropriate that that should be there. <gasps> Biplanes. Biplanes. Have I ever told you that my great 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 grandfather flew biplanes in the First World War? We need to find if they've got a copy of this. Screw Glanton, screw the bounty, screw everything. I want a copy of Hell's Angels, and I want it now. Ladies and gentlemen... Welcome back to Let's Play Fallout New Vegas, where we are at Buck Brunson's mansion, I guess, up here in North Vegas. We've just delivered a tape that had something to do with a shipping order, to do with some lights, to do with the uh, Bison Steve Hotel and Casino, which we're trying to rebuild at the moment. Um, it's all getting a little convoluted, frankly, and I'm beginning to lose track, but... Yeah, we're here, and I'm, I'm looking at old movie posters and things, because this place is awesome. Look at that. The Outlaw. Howard Hughes, great new picture. Yeah, I, I believe I was about to mention this before I got distracted at the end of the last video, but it is appropriate that there should be Howard Hughes films on the walls in this game, because... Howard Hughes was obviously a real fellow, an eccentric billionaire, who Mr. House in this game is in fact based off. So there you go. If you didn't know that, you do now. Go look him up. He was a very, very, and I mean really, really interesting guy, Howard Hughes. He was also mad as a hatter, at least in his later years. There was a decent enough film made about him called The Aviator, I think. Um... So, yeah. This is nice. This is really nice. I mean, I like my schoolhouse and everything, but this is really something. Not quite as good as the old Lucky 38, especially the cocktail lounge, but not bad either. Well, since we're here... Hello. What is this place? It's amazing! What is this place? It belongs to my Uncle Buck. He headed to New Reno to play poker. It's got mostly everything you need. Nice beds, bunks upstairs, kitchen for cooking, bathrooms for bathing, and... Well, you know. You can make stuff upstairs if you got the knowing, and it's got plenty of lockers to keep stuff in. I think that old terminal might still work, if you want to use it to help store your gear. Say... Steve said you were helping him pick up where Buck and Lori left off, right? If you need a place to stay while you're up here in town, you're welcome to stop in any time. Just make yourself at home. Come and go as you please, or whatever. You won't bother me at all. Oh, that's jolly good of you, actually. As a matter of fact, I mean, it beats the be beats sleeping in the back of an old cargo truck, uh, doesn't it? Somewhat. Uh, I heard your uncle won this place in a poker game. Yes, Steve did mention that, didn't he? Um, high, pretty high stakes, huh? Oh, you ain't seen the half of it. They are the highest of high stakes players in the Mojave. It's nothing to see a million caps in one session. But they play for anything with value, not just caps. The man who owned this place was some gun dealer from New Reno. He came here to get guns and ammo from gun runners wholesale for the bosses up there. Guess he decided to stick around and settle in this place. But that's been years ago, and I don't know much more than that. Hmm. Uh, so the guy just lost his nice place on a poker hand. Well, like I said, they'll play for just about anything. Uncle Buck staked him in a game one night, and he went on a bad run. He didn't have anything left but this place. So Uncle played him heads up for the deed to pay him back. He didn't even have to do that, as the guy owed him the money he got staked with. But Uncle beat him fair and square when he hit trip threes on the river over the guy's pocket queens. The guy couldn't believe Uncle stayed in the hand with a pair of threes and turned a set on him. But that was a while ago. After that, we settled in and we've been here ever since. Okay. 
Very cool. Um, however, we really need to be going, actually. Goodbye. Still, I'm impressed. Very, very impressed. Kind of wish. I've said it before, but I do kind of wish we could play poker in this game. Be quite good. I suppose we've got Caravan, which I've not played in a while, actually, have I? I haven't played a game of Caravan in quite some time. I'll have to make a point of doing that some some point. Oh, hello! Look at all this. Armory sorter. Ah, this will be like the Sims thing. Yeah, there we are. Slow roll. Is that a shotgun? I think it is. Not bad. Not bad at all. Okay, so obviously this is essentially a... Oh, wow. Um... Yeah, obviously this is essentially a kind of player home that they've bundled into this mod, which is so damn cool. My first laboratory. Create a new compound, detoxify yourself, do nothing. Let's not mess around with that. Uh, no, we probably shouldn't. It's not ours. <laughs> oh my god, look at this! Okay, guys. I want this. I want this. I want it in the schoolhouse. Hanging from the ceiling. I want it right now. That is so cool. <laughs> hey, bird, you reckon you can sneak this thing out of here without anyone noticing? <laughs> Holy crap. That is the mother of all airfix models right there, isn't it? Okay. A lighthouse. Hmm. Is that a lighthouse from Oblivion? In Anvil? No. Is it? I, ooh, I don't know now, actually. Probably not, is it? It's probably from somewhere else. It's an interesting bed. Uh, right, anyway. Interesting wall statues as well. They look suspiciously like they were nicked from a Dwemer ruin in Skyrim, by the way, but I'm fairly sure these are from Fallout 3. Yeah. Anyway. Well, at least it demonstrates, if nothing else, that Bethesda's designs are nothing if not iterative. Okay, so now we either go back to Freeside, or... My truck. What, what the heck? Is Freeside on, like, the opposite side to Vegas that I thought it was? It might be, mightn't it? I thought Freeside was over here. Oh. Uh... Wait. Oh, no, of course, the, the truck's parked in the middle of... It's next to the, next to the strip gate, isn't it? Uh, right, okay, that's why I was confused. I thought... I... In my head, the truck was parked, like, outside, um, outside the Freeside Gate. So, come on, guys. Alright. Getting a little bit cautious now. We've not shot or been shot at by anything in quite some time! Looks so like you guys have got it under control. Jolly good. I don't know. Why the heck? What the heck was happening with my bullets there? I was hitting the guy, but nothing was happening. H&H &H Tools Factory. Oh, we'll not be exploring that today. Oh, you've... Motherfuck. Invisible. Weaponry.
Weird. I was shooting that guy, but he didn't seem to be doing anything. Manhole inaccessible. Jolly good. I wasn't really thinking of going down there anyway, to be honest, so. What is this? North Vegas discovered. North Vegas Square. Well, it's not going there right now. But on the bright side, we might be able to drive the truck here and up here in, 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 instead of walking all the way back. Because we've got to go around that way in order to get to Tom Quigley, don't forget. So, oh, there we go. We're not far away now. And here we are again. Evening. Evening? Really? Is it? Oh, it's 4 p.m. Well, I'll be damned. Hello, Special Forces Heavy Trooper. Good grief. Uh, why, why are you here? Why are you here? What is here that could warrant the presence of a power-armored soldier? I really have to be honest. It's... well, whatever. Okay, first things first, we need to find this gentleman that Russell mentioned. Hey. You're wearing metal armor. Need your bad news. This gentleman and I were just settling on a price. I'm afraid you'll have to hire one of the others this time around. I'm not that kind of person. I'm not that kind of bloke, I'm afraid. No, thank you. Okay. Ugh. Strange local delicacies. Ah, oh, my depth of field's going berserk again. Oh, boy. Yeah, it's... I really hate that. That's kind of annoying. I've got to be honest. I'm tempted to just turn it off altogether, but I do like it. Oh. Quick save. Quick load. Please don't crash. Please don't crash. Please don't crash. Thank you. Yeah, that's kind of annoying. Don't know why he does that. Um, Might be something to... I wonder if it's got anything to do with that mesh bug I mentioned last episode. Whatever. Uh, followers for, yeah, we've got a few errands to do for them, but they're not really priority right now, we'll deal with them later. Okay, we're gonna go to Gamora to find Slim, yep. Vickers, ex-Desert Ranger, yeah, and he is here in Freeside, so. Over here somewhere. Okay. D did you two hear that as well, or was that... Anyway. You guys didn't put anything in my coffee this morning, did you? In my tea, rather. Oh, I have a mod that make, make, lets me make tea, by the way. Uh, I would believe it was suggested to me by one of you guys in the comments. I forget exactly who, but thanks, whoever it was. I just haven't had the, uh, an opportunity to get around to making some tea yet. But yeah, I have a mod that allows me to make tea, which is fantastic. Anyway. Vickers, hello. Can you spare a few caps, stranger? I'm a veteran down on this luck. Wait. Is that Russell I see with you? Y'all help me out, right? Rangers always stick together. Uh, Russell and I are hoping you can identify... Uh, oh, the poor wretch. I suppose I've got enough to spare right now. Um, I'm glad to help a veteran. By the way, have you ever heard of the name Hendershot? Thank you. Much obliged. Hendershot. I think I know who that is, but <laughs> just <laughs> Jesus, I knew he was living on the streets, but to be strung out like this? I never imagined it. This man was strong. A fucking rock. How did he end up like this? I can't even look him in the eyes. Uh Oh, you're the strongest fool sometimes. Why do we fall, Mr. Russell? 
Uh, yeah, he just needs some help, probably. Yeah, maybe you're right. It's just not what I was expecting. See if you can talk to him about getting help, then ask about the name. Yeah. Uh, Vickers, I'd like to speak to you about your addiction. Addiction? Look, I'm, I'm just between jobs right now, and I get a little fix here and there to get me going. I'm, I'm fine, I swear. Of course you are. And nobody else should use chems, because you can deal with them just fine. It's only, only you, and everyone else has chem problems, but you, you're able to manage. You are. Yeah, like I haven't heard that before. You're in denial, Vickers. It's time to man up and face your problem. Go and see the followers. I... I couldn't look myself in the face anymore, stranger. Wife left me. Got nobody left. I hope the jet would make things easier. It never does. I'll do like you're saying. Talk to the followers. Before I head off, what was your question? Uh, we were looking for a man named Hendershot. Do you know where we can find him? Hendershot. Oh yeah, he's a he's a zombie arms peddler hidden away in Koya Mountain. Where that is exactly, I don't know. Know the man who can tell you though. Ranger by the name of Handley. Used to be in Russell's unit. He'll know. He knows the Spring Mountains better than anybody. That's why they got him up at the outpost on Mount Charleston. Give him my regards. You did right by me on that one. I won't forget it. You're welcome. Hey. Right, you, yeah, you you run you run off to the followers in the fort and um, say hello to Boone for me while you're there. <laughs> oh dear. Anyway, let's see. Okay, so that's done. Now we need to go head to Gamora to find Nevada Slim. So-called Nevada Slim. What a dearie, dearie me. We've got stuff we're not even allowed to sell, people. Only at Mick and Ralph's. We've got stuff we're not even allowed to sell, people. Only at Mick and Ralph's. Actually, speaking of Mick and Ralph's. Now that you mention it, you annoying child. Uh, Mick and Ralph's for all your shopping needs. Just because of this, I'm going to sell them all my fake money. They deserve it, frankly, at this point. <laughs> Mick and Ralph's is around the corner here, isn't it? If I recall correctly. Ah, uh, yes. Oh, dear God! Oh my goodness, what the hell happened to you? Oh. Oh boy. And and weirdly, I am more phased by that than I am by that. Oh, ooh. Evening. Mick and Ralph's, yeah. Oh, what the heck. Apparently this door doesn't work. That's interesting. What's up with that then? One moment. Nothing a little uh, console magic couldn't fix in the end. Phew! I was a bit worried there for a second. Dino toy. No! You've already got one. No, 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 don't look at the ceiling like you don't know what I'm talking about. Ralph. If you're looking for guns, talk to Mick. Otherwise, I've got a nice selection of general supply. Uh, what do you have in stock? Take a gander. By which I mean, how many caps have you got? Not a lot. Ooh, I'll take your Hydra, though. And your Honey Mesquite Pods. And your Banana Yucca Fruits. And your Pinion Nuts? And your tea biscuits, damn it. Apparently they give 
me plus 24 agility? What the fuck? That can't be right. Whatever, I'm taking them because they're biscuits. That's pretty crazy. What the hell's that about? Maybe I have... Must be, must be a Crumpington thing. Maybe, maybe he has special power. He's like Popeye, but with biscuits. Um... <laughs> Uh, I'll, yeah, I'll do it, I think. Container of chlorine. Apparently that's for a quest. Well, we, we don't have any reason whatsoever to purchase that right now, so... Ooh, I'll have that, though. Now then. Currency, 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 currency. Aha! There we are. Right, you can have those, and you can have... I don't know. Those? Oh, yeah, close enough. Thanks. Thanks for stopping in. Thanks for taking my completely fake money. <laughs> oh, how long do you reckon till they figure out it's fake? If they yeah, figure out it's fake. It Glad you agree. Random person on the street. Okay, now onwards to um, onwards to the strip. We're going to Gamora. How much money do we have now, out of curiosity? 5,900, not bad. Not bad, we're recruiting our losses. Rather fast, it seems. With the help of a bit of forgery. Eh, uh, you know. A few lesser evils for a greater good, why not? Come to Mick and Ralph's for all your shopping needs. Speaking of lesser evils for greater goods. <sighs> Hello. Cat eye. You know what, kid? I'm taking your cat eye because you're annoying. The kings. I really should stop by and see what the hell they're about. School of impersonation. Mm. Your guess is as good as mine, Russell. There's a big building around here, actually. Welcome to the strip and welcome to the van slash truck. It's not really a van, is it? It's more of a... it's definitely a truck. A lorry, maybe. No, it's a bit too small for a lorry. For those that don't realise, a van is a word for... Well, I guess Americans would call a truck, but we also use the word truck for something that's slightly bigger than a van. But anyway. Oh, look, yes. See, the software upgrade seems to have turned out alright. Will do. Ah. Oh, it's you. Yeah, you managed to make it through, but obviously you got shot on your way back. Okay. Why would you do that? I don't... What, what is on the other side of those gates that you so desperately need to make a dash to see? While running the risk of being horribly, horribly killed in the process. I, I don't understand, you know? Whatever. Very odd. Very, very odd. Okay, Gamora. Here we are. He looks a bit different in the daytime, doesn't it? Should we drop it and say hello to Veronica and Boone? I'm tempted to. I'm tempted to leave her in, in, in there and, and bring Veronica out with us. If for no other reason than she can hack computers. You know? You got any change, man? I got three kids to feed. It's tempting, it's really tempting, it's really... I'll think about it. Okay, Gamora, hello again. Where are we going to find Nevada Slim? I get lost in Gamora quite easily, I should point out. It's sort of annoyingly big. Along with its loading times, they're also kind of annoyingly big. Okay, here we go. Hey, no one but Omeritas are allowed to carry guns into Gamora. Check your weapons with me. Ah, uh, but you didn't say anything about 
super mutants with super sledges, did you? <laughs> You'll get these back on your way out. Oh, uh, yeah. Or angry one-eyed bounty hunters with assault rifles, as it turns out. All right, never mind. I think you're being very unfair, frankly. Okay. Okay, yeah, that's a bit... Frame rate's a bit shit in here because I've got the populated casinos mod. And that's fine. I don't mind taking a frame rate hit for something like that when I've done it on purpose. It's when I start dropping frames for sort of no discernible reason that I start to get irritated. Um, um, what am I doing? Data. Quests. No, local map. No, quests. We can rebuild him. Local map. Oh, he's over there somewhere. Okay. Holy shit, you been in Lucky 38? You meet the overboss in there? Well, kind of. Blackjack, oh god. Um... Bosses don't like no trouble in their place. There's some serious shit going on between the Oh, Nevada Slim! Project. Holy shit, okay, hello. Fuck. Can you see I'm busy? What the hell you want? Um... <laughs> I want you to talk, stop talking in such a ridiculous accent. That might be a good start, but... I'm here to call on the shipping order. Ship the items to the Bison Steve Hotel immediately. What? What the fuck are you talking about? Let me see that. What the... How in the hell you get this? This belongs to that no good son bitch Buck Brunson. Steve found it in his granny's stuff along with the plans to rebuild the Bison. And let me guess, you and Steve are trying to finish the job she and Buck couldn't finish. Yep, that's about the size of it. Well, that order ain't no good no more, so you shit out of luck. Besides, you don't look like that asshole Brunson know-how. That's his order. You know who else doesn't look like Buck Brunson? Bert doesn't look like Buck Brunson. But you know what? If you're not going to give the shipping order to me, you're sure as hell going to give it to Bert by the time I'm done with you. Besides, I thought you and Buck were old friends. What's the problem? Well, we used to be, but ain't no more. That line, no good hornswoggler can go to hell as far as I'm concerned. Hornswoggler, what a, what a word. <laughs> I love it. Um... I heard you had a fallout over a big... Poker hand. Poker hand? You think this is all about that goddamn poker hand? You must be dumb on your bag of hammers. The son bitch double crossed me on a business deal I was working on with a fella from up north, undercut me and took my contract. Cost me a shitload of money too, so fuck him. I'm sorry to hear about all of that, uh, but this order says it's paid for, so I would like it shipped. You got Brahmin shit in your ears? I already told you that order ain't no good no more. Since that son bitch swindled me, I lost my shipping caravan and I can't deliver shit. So even if I had a way to deliver, them prices ain't no good no more. The price has gone up. But you still have the lights, right? Couldn't the Crimson Caravan deliver them? Yeah, I reckon I do, but you ain't getting them for no less than 1500 cap. Like I said, the price has gone up. It'll cost me that much to hire the Crimson Caravan and ship them and make up for my trouble. Uh, so you weasel out of a deal, eh? Should be great for business when word of this gets out. Now hold on there just a damn minute. We can keep this little misunderstanding between you and me, can't we? I contact a buddy over at Crimson Caravan and get him to pick up the lights later today. You should have them tomorrow. I expect you'll be wanting this hill receipt. Now get out of my face. Look with our power. Pleasure doing business with you. Not. Come on, chaps. Okay, return the lighting shipment receipt. Today, uh, not Dave. <laughs> what the hell am I talking about? <laughs> to Steve. Um. Okay. Now what? 
Okay, so that's that done. Speak with Handley, who is all the damn way down there, which is... Okay, here's the thing. That's not far from Tom Quigley, but the question is, can I actually get there from Tom Quigley? Because these look like big-ass mountains. Really big-ass mountains. Well, we'll have to see. Tom Quigley is the next priority, though. So... Yeah, show location, there we go. Okay, yeah, so, hmm, we'll see. Uh, meantime, well, it's getting kind of late, isn't it, really? Hey there, friend. A bit of advice. You look like you could use some protection. Lucky for you, I got what you need. My stock and trade? All kinds of easy-to-hide weapons for slipping into and out of casinos. They won't give you a second glance. Uh, I have a Silence 22 pistol at home, but I keep forgetting to bring it with me. Let's see what you have. Take a look at these beauties. Uh, all right, I'll have that. I will have those. I will have those. Hang on a minute. 22 revolver. Oh, do I want that or do I want a Silence 22 pistol? I didn't look at it properly before I bought it. Damage 8 versus damage... Tw yeah, I think I want the revolver. Uh, Alright then, so... It's not silent, obviously, but, you know... If you got to the point where you have to use a gun in a casino, it probably doesn't matter if it's silent or not. Uh, Alright, well, I have uh, 99 caps, except... <laughs> uh, this little scam is never going to get old. Uh, maybe a few more? Oh, Legion Denarius, why not? Oh. I do apologise. Oh, shall I just take one or two of these off your hands? People have told me I should do this in a casino. You know, exchange it for chips and then exchange the chips for bolt caps. I have looked this up. And... You do not, in fact, get any more or less caps out of it by do it either by selling it straight to a vendor or by doing it in the casino. Um, currency is an exception to the barter system. It it always sells for the exact amount of caps, no matter what. So just in case you didn't know that, before someone types it in the comments at me, it's probably too late. But hey, um, it is totally fine to sell it to a vendor like that. You will get the same amount of money for it because it's currency. There's an exchange rate and all that. Okay, so what now? I guess we could go... S Let's drive the van up to North Vegas if we can. Let's drive it up to North Vegas and then we'll decide what to do from there. I, mean, I can fold out the bed from the ceiling. I can convert the, the table and chairs into a bed. Um, and we'll be sorted. Bert can just sort of do whatever Bert does. He probably sleeps on the roof, doesn't he? Come to think of it. Um, I did think about getting a portable bedroll mod, but really now we've got this, it doesn't really matter that much, does it? So. Okay. More. More. Oh, hang on, actually. Better idea. Back, back, back. Gun runners! I've got more NCR dollars to hand over. <laughs> We need to get some more flame fuel as well. I don't know how fast we're burning through this stuff. Come to think of it. Oh, we're, we're fine. We're good for ages. Um, fold that up there. There we go. Gives us a bit more headroom. Sure. To trim or not to trim the moustache? That is the question. I will never know what people's opinion on this is, by the way, until much later on, because I'm recording this way ahead of schedule um, as well. Even though we've just started chapter two, as of you guys watching it. Normally I take big breaks between chapters when I'm playing these games, but um, for some reason I'm not with uh, this. Um, I'm just sort of deciding to plow on ahead. I don't really know why. I guess it's just because I really, really, really freaking like this game. I don't know if I've ever... Well, I, I know I, for a fact I've said it to you guys before, but I don't know whether I've ever said it in a video or just on a stream or something, but New Vegas is pretty much my favourite 
game since Morrowind, hands down. So, and that's saying a lot. Okay. Moving on. Welcome, sir or madam. Do you wish to purchase something? Uh, for sale. Uh, 8,000 caps. Hello. And a 44 Magnum revolver and a whole bunch of other stuff. Well, you got 12.7 millimeter rounds. Have you got those? Have you? Have you? Have you? No. You've just got. That's unfortunate. Do you have weapon repair kits? It would be an aid, wouldn't it, if you had it? Uh, damn it. Yep, you don't. Oh. Crap! That's annoying. Oh well. AK 47. Russell, would you like an AK 47? Or an AK-74. I don't know which is better, frankly. The AK-47 is better, I think. Yeah. Uh, yeah, why not? My treat. Uh, have an AK-47. I, uh, um, I bet you anything now. He's going to get the damn AK-47, and then he's not going to use it. He's going to carry on using his original assault rifle. How many of these can we give to you? Quite a lot, as it turns out. Oh, all of them, in fact. Wow. With some left over. Come back and see us again soon. So that brings us to... 14,000 caps. Holy shit. <laughs> Well, you know, uh, it's fair enough, but we're not going to run into that that kind of amount of pre-war money again anytime soon. What? The... What is going on? Seriously, one of you two has spiked my drinks with something, haven't you? Anyway, Russell. Kims are good. Weapons are better. Well, you're in luck. You bastard. <laughs> I freaking knew it! I think I've got some room. You can give me those, and you can... Well, I don't have any 5.56 ammo on me now, do I? What do you have against the AK-47, then, eh? Well... The iron slides on the other line might be a bit wonky, actually. It's not a bad gun. Come on, man. Well, you know what? If you don't want it, I'll, I'll use it. Yeah, why not? Um, although I don't have any ammo for it now, which is kind of a pain in the ass, right? You know what, for now. But... I have this AK-47. Remind me not to sell it, either. Oh! Speaking of... No, actually, he's only got 200 caps left. There's no point. Motherfuck. Okay, chaps, back to the van. Uh, yeah, 7pm. We're going to have to sleep overnight in the van, I think. However, oh. really, I can't go to North Vegas. That's annoying. Maybe we had to go inside North Vegas, kind of like with Freeside. Oh, that's probably it, isn't it? Uh, where are we now then? Like, I can't ever quite remember exactly where the gun runners are. We're actually down the road from Freeside. However... That's really piss annoying. Because uh, if we try to go park in Freeside, what we actually end up doing is parking down here. Which 
probably doesn't lessen the distance very much. So you know what, I think we'll just leave it here. Alright guys, uh, I guess it's sleepy time, I suppose. Can I make any tea? Oh, I need a coffee mug. <laughs> Why did this not occur to me? Vado agave fruit. I just need a coffee mug. Oh, damn it. What other tea can I make? Cactus water. Oh. Prickly pear fruit and an empty soda bottle. An empty water bottle. I don't have any prickly pear fruit, do I? Oh, that's annoying. Uh, cloned barrel cactus fruit. Okay. Yeah, the recipe menu usually holds some pretty ridiculous looking stuff. Um... Home brewed Nuka Cola. I need mesquite tea. Yeah, again, I need a I need a goddamn coffee mug. Seriously, we don't have a coffee mug anywhere. We really don't, do we? Oh man. <laughs> All the things I never thought I'd need. That really is a pain in the bum. Oh well. Where's Russell? Russell. There you are. Come on, dude, inside. Seriously? Oh, you know what? Fine. Oh, hang on a minute. There you are. Hiding in the damn toilet. Fine, well, you do whatever you gotta do in there. I'm gonna get this sorted out. Uh, ah, there we go. Bed. Bed. And before you ask, I'm having the top bunk, and you're having the... Let's call it the top top bunk, shall we? Yeah.